My childhood was tough. I grew up in Chicago, in the inner city. I really didn't have much guidance or support. Right after high school, I ended up going into a life of crime. I used to sell drugs, hustling on the streets. It was scary, it was cold, it was lonely. There are nights that, you know, you didn't sleep, wondering, are you gonna expire from this? What changed me from the streets and prompted me to live a better life is when I met my wife and we had our first kid. Oh, yes, perfect pancakes. Daddy. Hmm? <laughs> Having somebody to call you dad. It's more than just a word. It's a feeling. Savannah is 10 years old, Zanaya is seven, and Amaji is two years old. The pressure of having kids and knowing that you have to provide for them, it's scary. But it's all worth it to have a family, to build it up. It's all worth it because you have something to live for, man. I started working as a mechanic to make money, but I understood that I have to go to school in order to be the man I want to be. So last year, I decided to go to Strayton University. I am usually working in the pit while I change oil. And when there's not a car over my head, I do all my homework. I'm studying business management and entrepreneurship. I want to obtain a degree that will help me advance and get my own business and eventually be my own boss and I want to build businesses that help people. The one thing I'm going to be doing tonight is really going over the assignment to make sure that you completely understand. Yes, yes. yes. Sometimes it gets really, really, really hard. But my professors, they send me emails, they call me up. You know, if there's any help that I can be, please let me know because I think you're one of the students that has greatness in you. Right now, I am holding A's in all classes. And I'm really proud of myself because I didn't think I can do it. Thank you so much, Mr. Rapp. Hey, you have a great day, okay? Hey, you too. Without Strayer University, I would not have the same hope as I have now because I'm working on an education that's going to further me and make me somebody my girls are proud of. That's what I strive to be every day. My dream for my girls is for them to learn from me and take that and build their own individual dreams. Just give them the blueprint. You go to work, you go to school, you get your education, and then you make your own way. That's the American dream. The future's looking bright. I am blessed to be where I am right now. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs>